This video covers the basic operating procedure for a simple photometric instrument called the Spectronic 20. The instrument allows one to record absorbance values for solutions in the visible range, approximately 350 to 800 nanometers. Turn on the instrument with the knob on the left-hand side of the front end. Because this instrument uses a grating, a filter is needed to help isolate the wavelengths longer than 600 nanometers. We'll move the lever on the lower left-hand side of the instrument to the left to remove the filter since we will be working at 525 nanometers for this demonstration. We set the operating wavelength using the dial on the top of the instrument. For best performance, allow the instrument 15 to 20 minutes to warm up. Pour whatever solvent or buffer has been used to make the standard solutions of the analyte into a cuvette. This solution should contain all of the reagents in the standard solutions with the exception of the analyte. This is known as a blank solution. Today our blank is deionized water. Notice that the cuvette has a vertical line painted on it which helps you align it in the instrument the same way every time. With the instrument in the transmittance mode, set the display to 100% using the knob on the front right. There is usually a little bit of noise. The number may jump around about plus or minus two in the last digit on the far right. Don't worry about that. The light beam passes through the bottom third of the cuvette, so filling it a little over halfway is plenty. Ideally, all the rays of the light beam travel through the same distance of the solution. However, only the center of the beam travels exactly through the center of the cuvette. Consequently, a small fraction of the light rays travel a slightly shorter distance through the solution. Furthermore, real cuvettes are not perfectly circular and the path length that light travels through the solution may vary slightly if you were to rotate the cuvette in the instrument. For very careful work, chemists either reuse the same cuvette for all solutions and keep it oriented in the same direction each time, or they work with cuvettes with diameters that match very closely. After setting the 100% transmittance with a blank solution, press the mode button to move to the absorbance mode. The absorbance of a blank solution should be zero. The absorbance of this standard solution is 0.935. The best practice is to keep one cuvette filled with a blank solution so that you can check that the instrument reads zero absorbance after the blank between each standard solution or sample that you test. That way, if the instrument drifts, then you can go back and reset the zero absorbance value with the knob on the right. When moving to the next test solution or standard, merely pour out the last solution and rinse the cuvette three times with small portions of the solution about to be tested. You do not need to wash out the cuvette any further, nor do you need to dry it before introducing the next solution. At the end of the day, merely rinse the cuvettes with soapy water and deionized water and leave them drying in the rack. Do not scrub them out. 